what's a go my people welcome back let's make this nice hearty pot of pumpkin soup but before i get into the recipe remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already show your girl some love all right i'm going to add some veggie chunks to the soup no you can choose to add any other plant protein of your choice okay now what i'm going to do is to allow this to rehydrate boil it for a few minutes now afterwards i'm going to drain this liquid rinse off the chunks a bit and set it aside here i'm just prepping some of the ingredients for the soup you will need your carrot your onion your garlic and so forth and as always i will list all the ingredients in the description so make sure to check that out I'm using the calabaza pumpkin, love, love this pumpkin. It's rich, has a nice, sweet, nutty flavor to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash and cut into cubes. Here I have the chopped pumpkin, one squash bunny pepper thyme. I'm going to add this to a pot of hot water along with the onion, the carrot, and the garlic. I'm also going to lightly season by adding some vegetable bouillon and salt. So here I'm adding some vegetable bouillon. I'm also going to add salt as mentioned, cover the pot and allow the pumpkin to cook. While the pumpkin cook, I went ahead and prepped the corn, yellow yam, Irish potato and dough to make the dumplings. Feel free to add any ground provisions that you have on hand. You can add some sweet potato, green banana, turnip, dashin, chocho, and the list goes on. To minimize oxidation, I'm adding the yellow yam to some water. Here I have some all-purpose flour and cornmeal to make the dumplings because what soup without dumpling? love dumplings in my soup once done set this aside you can cover with a damp paper towel or a damp kitchen cloth so it doesn't dry out at this point the pumpkin cook now what i'm going to do is to remove half of this content blend it and pour it back in the pot Now it's time to add everything that was prepped earlier to the pot, the corn, yellow yam, Irish potato, dumpling. I'm also going to add some fresh and dried seasonings. Here I'm adding the veggie chunks. Now you have the options to lightly season the veggie chunks prior to adding it to your pot. But either way, season or not, it's fine. Here I'm adding some coconut milk. I'm also going to add about a half a teaspoon of grated ginger. Now for me, coconut milk goes well with ginger. Now it's time to season the pot. I went in with some more fresh thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, allspice, scallion, and some dried seasonings. Mm -hmm. 
here I'm massaging the scallion just to bring out more of the flavor. Now at this point, make sure to season this to your liking, all right? Add your all-purpose seasoning, salt if needed. Now once this is seasoned to your liking, cover and over a medium heat, allow your soup to come together for about 45 minutes. So as mentioned, allow this to come together for roughly 45 minutes. And that's it. Pumpkin soup up and running. This was so good. Rich, flavorful, hearty. My type of food. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try and enjoy this recipe. Let me know if you do. And until next time, bless upon yourself.